Hi, my name is Medea Benjamin with the Peace Group Code Pink, and I'm standing in front of this nondescript building at 251 H Street Northwest in Washington, D.C. But guess what? It's actually the headquarters of the largest foreign policy lobby group in the United States called APAC, the American-Israeli Public Affairs Committee. I wonder why it doesn't display its name. Maybe it doesn't want you to know it's here. Maybe it's because it prefers to work in the shadows, sending millions of dollars to politicians and in return wanting those politicians to send billions of dollars to Israel. That's why almost four billion dollars of our tax money every year is going to Israel. And that's why in the midst of Israel's full-on genocide in Gaza, APAC wants to send 14 billion dollars more. APAC is livid that some members of Congress, under tremendous pressure from their constituents, have dared to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. That's why APAC says it's going to spend a hundred million dollars in the coming election to oppose them. Congresswoman Betty McCullen has called APAC a hate group. AOC says it's a racist group that disproportionately targets members of color. And Congressman Mark Pocan says it's a cancerous presence on our democracy. Politicians have good reason to fear APAC, which has shown a mafia-like ability to make and break careers. But we, the people, must stand up to it. We must make it toxic for politicians to take APAC money. We must support Jewish groups calling for a ceasefire, like Jewish Voice for Peace, and if not now. And we must continue to build a torrential wave of people power so strong that politicians will have no choice but to do the right thing. To call for a ceasefire, to stop sending our money to Israel, and to stand up for a free Palestine. And one more thing. Let's make APAC register as an agent of a foreign government. Because after all, that's precisely what it is.